So we're at the Swedish National Training Center in Busan in Stockholm, Sweden. Woke up at like 6 in the morning. Um, it's a four hour drive from Gothenburg to Stockholm, four or five, depending on how fast you drive. Got here at like 12. So we started the day off with a short little information uh, gathering. We got some info. We got the new uh, national team uniforms from NGI and uh, they look kick-ass. Um, in my opinion, they look a lot better than uh, last year. Uh, we got some pretty good gear from them. We're gonna be the best looking national team at least. We did some strength tests, some uh, stamina tests, um, squats, chin-ups, dips, and uh, some sprints. Yeah, it feels good. It, it's nice to be here. We just ate dinner, and uh, in like in 25 minutes, we have an MMA session. It's gonna be focused on uh, wrestling we have a wrestler that's gonna go through some uh, some technical aspects of defensive wrestling because all of the strongest nations have uh, have really good wrestlers so that's what we're gonna face in uh, Bahrain in the world championships so some technical pointers and strategic tips and hopefully some things that will give us the upper hand in uh, in the fights I'm pretty sure I ate too much Usually I like to eat a light meal like two hours before I work out, but not today. I ate like a goddamn horse. Like one hour before an MMA session. We'll see how that goes. But hopefully it's gonna be nice and technical, so I'm not gonna throw up, you know? Jag får vi stå. 10 ställas upp, 10 tar ner var, okej? Okay? Börja med en som kör och den andra, ja. Vi drar efter 10. Okej, okay. Vi går här, styr. Så vi lägger upp här. Antingen, dubbel. Eller, sweet. So we just did like one and a half hour wrestling class focusing on defensive wrestling because uh, a lot of the top fighters in each weight class are from wrestling backgrounds and we have to really work on our wrestling technique to, to stand a chance, you know. You can't really work on your defense as much as they have worked on their offense but if you have a basic understanding of wrestling technique and wrestling defense then your um, the chance of you succeeding with your strategy goes up by some percentage if you don't have to worry as much about the takedowns and stuff then you can execute your game plan and feel free doing it as opposed to if you're just terrified of being taken down so so we focused on uh, wrestling defense did some drilling um, some conditioning and I tell you what man it was too tight I mean we finished dinner like one hour before we started wrestling and uh, we were hoping for a technical session but uh, it wasn't really that we started with some some intervals just to shock the body and tell you what man thank god for caffeine uh, yeah so I'm gonna go eat some more drink some water you know we're, tomorrow we're gonna keep on doing some running some more lifting and uh, some info for about the world championships and uh, we're having a good time so I'm back at home in Gothenburg we were in Stockholm for two days First day we got our new gear from uh, from NGI, the new sponsor. You see this? This is fresh. This is real nice. The other sponsor was okay, but this this stuff is really good. I'm looking forward to rocking this in Bahrain. Um, last 
I think before summer, before the European Championships, uh, we did we did some physical tests. Uh, I felt strong then. My lifting hasn't been as serious. I've been more focused on other things like cardio and basically I feel stronger doing MMA wrestling, but I'm not as strong as in the gym anymore because I don't prioritize it. I don't really feel like like I'm lacking in strength when I fight. I'm pretty strong for my weight class, so. I've been focusing on the things where I've been lacking instead of just going to the gym and, you know, focusing on that. Still doing my strength and conditioning, of course, but not as focused on, like, the weightlifting. I mean, I'm not gonna lose fights because I don't squat enough. Uh, I don't know if you get me. Anyway, we did squats, we did bench, we did a grip test, sprints, recovery, two sprints with three minutes in between to uh, compare the, uh, the time you know, and how much you recover, and I did pretty good at those. Power cleans. Then in the evening, we had a, we had an MMA session with a wrestler and focused on some, some wrestling defense, some wrestling technique. We got some information about the hotel we're going to stay in, in Bahrain. Uh, it was really nice. You know, we got a pool, uh, rooftop terrace. It looked really good in the pictures, at least. We'll see how it looks when we get there, but I'm looking forward to it. We're three weeks out right now. Uh, I'm feeling sharp. Just, just looking forward to it, you know. I've been working towards this uh, for the last couple of years, you know. This has been my goal, so I'm gonna do the, gonna make the most out of it. I'm looking forward to really, you know, putting on the the performance of my life, and uh, it's it's within reach right now. So you know, I'm just gonna put it all on the line and just go, just perform. So it's 1:30 in the afternoon, getting ready for MMA later on in the evening. I'm feeling a bit sore, you know, you max out on all of the uh, on the tests. My body is a little sore, I'm a bit tired. But I got a good, actually good eight hours of sleep, I think. Uh, that's more than I get most nights. I usually sleep for like five hours, four sometimes. But now I'm, I'm, I'm charged, eat, fuel up and do some MMA sparring tonight. Looking forward to it.